Hey there, welcome back. Um, it's February now, and I'm now making my first video this month. Um, as you can see, uh, Luna's sat on my sofa now. This is where I'm going to put her. Um, I've had a haircut. Um, I looked like a shaggy dog before, but well, my mum cut my hair, so I look all right now. Um, also, I've watched um, the third episode of Halover Boss, and I really enjoyed it. It was really good. I really loved it. But we're not here to talk about that. Today, I'm going to talk about one of the weirdest missions on Mass Effect. It's called The Visitor, and the objective is to follow the crumb trail. Now, you, um, you probably won't be surprised that you can't get these kind of missions on video games because it'd be boring if you just all do shooty shooty shoot all the time you know what I mean it's like yeah yeah you play a shooting game you expect to shoot people you know whatever but with Mass Effect you get a variety of missions and tasks you need to do as side missions go by so yeah this is in my books this is the weirdest one basically um Drac, one of the characters, is a Krogan, and uh, he um, he finds that there's some food missing or been eaten in cabin, break room or kitchen, wherever the staff eat their lunch and stuff. Um, yeah, so um, then he asks Shepard, no, not Shepard, <laughs> sorry, I'm thinking of the old Mass Effect, Ryder, his name's Ryder in Mass Effect Andromeda. He asks Ryder to go and find out who... He's been eating the food, so yada yada. Um, yeah, and he wants him to follow some crumbs. And I'm like, what? Well, I don't know if it was like what, but I'm like, hang on, where is it? What am I looking for? Because I thought it was going to be like tiny bits of crumb. I'm like, well, hang on. So we've got to find some crumbs. So, okay. Um, yeah. Um, anyway. I was like, oh, I'll just do some other missions and while well, I figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do. And then I realised, well, I mean, I knew what to do, but I mean, you know, um, you know, you got to admit, it's a weird mission. Anyway, I have eventually found like a pile of big crumbs. Apparently they're big, so you can see them. And eventually, Ryder finds a mouse in the crew deck, um, docking bay, where the nomad is. No man's basically like um, an off-road vehicle you can go on round planets, different planets and stuff. Anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, so in that part of the mission, Ryder finds the rodent has been eating the food and you have a selection of whether to keep it or let it go, I think. I'm trying to remember how I did it. But I know I decided to keep it in my upstairs my personal quarters not my not my person not my my personal quarters i mean me as rider in his personal quarters so yeah um another mission that i thought was quite weird was on a planet called kadara in the govorkan system um i think that's a, one of the planets i'm exploring and to do side missions on um there's about four missions at the current moment I'm playing the game. Four of which are called Modern Medicine, Task, Beer Run, The Bar Right Rush, and Task, Boosting the Signal. Now, um, I would say the second one. I don't think they're weird as such, they're just like normal everyday tasks, like errands. Because in Mass Effect Andromeda, and also the other Mass Effect games, you do different tasks that isn't relevant to the main mission. Which is good, because that's what makes the game so good. You get to do different things, and by doing different things, you gain experience, XP points, and then you gain, well, you improve your character as you go along, and then you're more likely to complete the game. 
you, there is an option to not do any of these and just get over get over and done with but i would recommend doing all of them because believe me it's interesting it's it, there's a benefit to doing side missions and you know i like games with a story it makes it in makes the store which makes the game interesting see online games i feel it's it's all right but i just find them boring this is my personal opinion on it i'm not disliking role-playing games so they're called no yeah i'll just say online gaming where you interact with other people which is good you get to interact with other people but see i like games that have a story and it makes it i get more drawn into games um there's a game that i watched markiplier and jacksepticeye play called samuel no manual samuel again because these two sound similar i get confused with which order it's in yeah it's sam manual samuel and it's a really good game um I haven't played it, I want to play it, but, well, it's a good game, it seems quite good, I like the story, I get like this film vibe from the game, I want games that have a film vibe, and, you know, it works, um, yeah, a Mass Effect, although it's a long game, there is some story to it. I don't like the characters. They're really good. And yeah. It's wicked. Um, I think the next game I want to play after that is Watch Dogs 2. I, wa I played Watch Dogs 1 and that's really good. Um, I think Watch Dogs 2 is going to be good. I want to get Watch Dog Legions which is based in London where... I'm not from London, I'm from further up north, but the um, fact is, it's in Britain. Around about Britain. Yeah, it's in London. But anyway, it's in Britain, so I'm going to really like that game. I've seen some Let's Plays from Jack Jacksepticeye and I think Gang Crank Game plays as well. And it looks like a good game. I really want to play that. Um... I'll probably get that for my birthday, but also I might get um, Cyberpunk 2077. That looks like a good game. I want that game. Well, I would like it, but also I want it. Anyway, um, enough about the irrelevant. Um, yeah, that's been the weirdest mission of Mass Effect Andromeda. To be specific, not to get confused with one two, three, and, well, Mass Effect Andromeda. The only Mass Effect I haven't played is one. That was on, that was back in 2008. The only Mass Effect games I've played is two, three, and Mass Effect Andromeda. And I really enjoy them. Anyway, see you guys in the next video.